think I have the background and uh, the expertise to uh, represent this district. Uh, I'm very familiar with the communities. I've 20 years as a police officer, 15 years as a lawyer, uh, 16 years, 16 years, and I stop and think, 16 years as a, as a judge, both as a senior judge and a, and a sitting judge. Uh, I've got a good feel for this community, uh, what the community's needs are. I've been in and around this community practically all my life, uh, Northwest Indiana. I believe I can do a good job for our, uh, people here in our community. In the legislature, there's only 17 lawyers. Out of the 150 representatives and senators in Indiana, we only have 17 of them are lawyers, and these are the people making the laws in Indiana. The legislature used to be made up of uh, four lawyers and attorneys uh, who have the expertise to who deal with the law on a day-to-day -day basis, to write the law and make it so it's constitutional. And of course, being involved in my community, I, I, I see a need for the legislature to take some positive directions and. Uh, Right now, there's, a, I think, a, it's a current crisis in jobs in Indiana. Jobs is really a problem here, but we need more jobs to put people back to work. As a legislator, you can do, do things to make uh, Indiana more attractive to bring jobs to Indiana. You can uh, do tax incentives to get new businesses started. We have uh, state-owned property that can be developed uh, as a, a light industrial type property. Up here in Northwest Indiana, we have one of the, probably one of the best areas for uh, light industry to go forth. And that's the Port of Indiana, right here in Northwest Indiana. It's a lot of that property in the Port of Indiana is not being utilized. So uh, there's a lot can be done as a legislator to, to make that promotions move forward and uh, bring more business and jobs to Indiana. I've always worked for the people and been a people person all my life. It was seemed to me a natural progression of uh, where I had to go. You know, you know, I was at first I was enforcing the law and then uh, practicing with the law, and now then I had to decide the law. That brings me where I'm at now. Now I'm going to be applying to be a legislator to help make that law. So I think this has been an evolution of a track I've been on all, practically all my life. You know. I was a training officer as well from the police department, which means I would train new rookies as they came on. Anyway, we received a call for an automobile accident on Highway 20, and I, I reached over, turned the red light on, and kicked the siren on, and I said, okay, Herb, I said, Herb, let's go. And Herb was a very cautious driver. He's driving 45 miles an hour to a, a, an accident scene, and traffic is actually passing us on the squad car who's got the red lights and siren on. So I just reached across my foot and put it on his foot and just held it down to the floor, and, and Herb had a, an emergency uh, a learning session on how to high speed drive to an accident scene. So. I uh, had young children testifying and they became terrified and I would introduce them to Judge Bear and then I would ask him, would you feel comfortable holding Judge Bear while you're talking? Would that make you feel better? Judge Bear always sat behind the bench and ready to be used in the event uh, some young person, young kid needed to be uh, uh, supported during their testimony. I think it's just, I just have to serve the state of Indiana.